Hi, so this is Mrs. Breen here to show you how to add a chart to your Google Sheets for basic grading purposes. Say for instance, I am grading a group of kids and I want to analyze data about their standardized scores for reading, for instance. So I am going to list down the students' names here. I'm going to list down the months up here, going the rows over, the column down, and then I'm going to put in their grades. So standardized grading from 1 to 4, and then I'm going to plug their grades in as I go through each month. Well, now I want to analyze the growth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little mini kind of column over here, January. I'm going to put down January, grades, now the grade is four, three, two, one. Those are the standardized grades. Now I wanna do is come over here and figure out how many people got four. Now if I have 75 students and I need to analyze a whole bunch of them at the same time, I do not wanna go and count, okay, one, there's one four here, there's another four here. What I wanna do is do a math formula. So using spreadsheets, um, what you do is you put equal sign and you put count and then you scroll down, count if. A condition counts across a range. That's what we want. And it's going to be step by step. So it's going to tell you. So you type in equal, count if, and it's going to ask the range. Well, simple enough, you just go over here. You start from here, you go down. The range, you could type it in, but if you see over here, it says B2. So we're in column B, row 2, to column B, row 9. That's my range. Now I'm going to do a comma because I want the criteria. The criteria that it's going to formulate to is right here because I put down I want four. So four and then I'm going to enclose the bracket and hit enter on my keyboard and it's going to tell me within this area I have one four grade four. Same thing for here I'm just going to do it one more time just to show you. I have two but I'll do it again. Equal count if formula, range, I can either type it in or I can drag it down, comma, the criteria right here, just click, three, close in that bracket, hit enter. All right, so now that we have all this, so let's turn around and make a graph because I want to show graphs. And I'm going to click here, drag my mouse over, highlight, drag it down, and I want to basically figure out the data of this. So I'm going to go up here to graph, insert graph. You can also find it over here at insert and chart. All right, um, then we're going to go up here. And, well, this is kind of great, but it's not exactly what I wanted. It tells me, okay, well, that's not really, well, let's, let's, okay, let's change this. We're going to go to customize. When we go to customize, well, I do not want my title to be grades versus January. I want my title to be January grades, maybe January reading grades. And... Then I can make it bold, I can make it italic, I can change the size if I want it really big. Ooh, that's a little too big right there, so maybe size 20, that's good. I can also change the color if I want, if I make it red. And then going down, you, I can also change the, um, the font and so forth, okay? And going down, while well, I have the um, horizontal, um, down here at the bottom, the label, I'm sorry, the access. And um, so this is January, and if I want to keep January, that's fine. I can make it bold. I can also change it so I can customize it a little bit. I can change the color maybe if I wanted to have it green. Oh, that looks horrible. Maybe orange. Um, and then the labels, the access labels right here, I can also change those. But the interesting thing is that I don't want to have this uh, percentage down here. What I want to do is treat labels as text. I'm going to click here. Oh, well, there we go. Now I can actually see that I have, I have no grades for one, but I have um, a little over four and a half for two, for three. There we go. So now I'm kind of seeing it. Well, I want to go up here and I, well, I kind of change and customize this. And I left that. I can click here. Drop down arrow means menu. I can click here and I can also change. I can make this orange too and I can make it bold. So now that's matchy-matchy and we're all good here. And 
if I wanted to add more grid lines, I can. Um, so it's going to change my format here on the side. Uh, maybe I wanted four. Um, how many people are in the class? I do not know. So like uh, maybe six. Oh, that's I like that because it goes up to the top here. A um, little bit more polished. Uh, down here at the bottom, you can do um, even some data labels. Uh, right now I have it as grades. I could change that and I could put reading grades. Um, and then, then what you do is you want to insert. It inserts. You need to drag this down. So you have to get this little hand and drag it down to, into your spreadsheet. And then you can put um, another one right next to it for comparison. This is great. You get to insert it for your um, spreadsheet. But how about I really would like to save it to a document. So this little drop down arrow here and you can click the now. You can click on save image. You're going to save the image. And... It brings it down here where I can then upload it to my Google Drive. I can go back to my drive. I already uploaded something. I do not want it in there. I'd rather have it in training. So then I can go to new, file upload. I can find it under pictures because it was a ping and it said image. So I'm going to find I or I can just type it in at the bottom. So image, sorry, a little delay here. Image, ping, open, oh, can't find it. Downloads, sorry, it must be in downloads then. So anyways, you find it, click on it, and then you can upload it. Um, back to here, you can also, if you click on it, you get a drop down arrow. Um, you can go into more advanced settings, uh, editing if you don't want it. Um, and you can uh, publish it, publish the chart, and so on and so forth. So there you go. I hope this helps.